<laughs> Pancake, look at you! Look at you play with that piece of fruit, even though you have like the tiniest head ever. Oh, you guys! I'm so happy to see that banana -na 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 lineage is living on in Pancake's extremely tiny head. And I tell you what, my friends, I absolutely cannot wait until we are able to combine the genetics of Pancake's extremely small head with the double-headed awesomeness of Octa! <gasps> Oh my gosh, and just as I said that, they are both ready to mutate. You guys! Hello and welcome back to Wobble Dogs, where it's kind of like sheer chaos here most of the time, but it's really fun and amazing chaos, like, you know, everything that we do in our laboratory experiments. Uh, and it looks like, oh, hang in there, Okta. But it looks like Okta is actually ready to grow up. Uh, and Okta's currently, Okta, what level are you? Like, are you a teen? Are you, okay, you're a young adult. So Okta's about to become an adult, which means it is almost time to start breeding the multi-headed, like, wobble dogs! What they're gonna turn into? Who knows? That's part of the chaos. Wait a second. Oh, there's Pancake. Oh, Pancake, I thought you went down the little tube. Oh, look! Pancake's tiny little face is just all smushed up against this piece of fruit. Okay, that's ridiculously adorable. But all right, so welcome back, everyone. Last time we had the absolute delight and excitement of seeing a raindrop. Oh, hey, and we just had one of, hey, Randy! Good to see ya! Good to see ya! I'm glad to see that you know how to levitate. I hope that, you know, that was easy for you as a ghost. Oh gosh, can you believe this all kind of started with Randy way back when? Oh my gosh, and Pillow just laid an egg. Like, literally just laid an egg. Good job! Or excuse me, raindrop, not Pillow. Oh, rest in peace, Pillow! Rest in peace! But Raindrop, the gigantic dog, literally just laid an egg. So it seems like it is time! We are going to hopefully start seeing a whole bunch of amazing puppers evolving uh, pretty soon and mutating into their next level. And that means we're going to be welcoming another generation of Wobble Dogs fairly shortly. But alright, so, okay, first things first, I want to see if we actually can have the ghost go ahead and eat the poop, which sounds really awful. I know, I'm trying. I, I know, I know. I'm trying not to make this too gross. But the point is, I'm hoping that... Oh, Randy's so happy to be goofing off. Randy, are you just... Look at that. Randy's all maxed out on their, their happiness. They're full. They've had good sleep. The sleep of the dead, I suppose. They're having a good time being like a little like floating ghost puppy. Oh, I'm going to praise him for sneezing because that was so cute. That was absolutely adorable. But I want to see if we can actually have them kind of be like reduced, reuse, recycle, compost ghost. Where we can have them eat poop uh, as gross as that is. But then they could turn it into ectoplasm. And we learned ectoplasm is ridiculously amazing. Because ectoplasm actually gives you random mutations. And we talked totally want to start getting more random mutations in for our Wobble Dogs friends. Uh, also, who's this? It's Tiny the Second! Tiny the Second, why don't you come over here? Again, sorry to do this to you, friend. I just want to see if this is possible. If not, if not, I won't, I won't make the ghost do this and we'll leave them instead some really sweet little offerings with pumpkin pie and stuff like that. Oh my goodness, and Weber is actually ready to puppet! Weber! Okay, here, do you want to go ahead and eat this, um, this baby tooth really quickly, if you don't mind? Oh, Weber, you've got so many legs. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. You want to try to eat this for me? It would be really helpful if you could right here yeah you got it oh my gosh weber is always like ridiculously excitable um all right come here weber i think that you oh whoop 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 okay hi weber yeah how you doing <laughs> that was really fun <laughs> i didn't know you could just like hold and, and spin your wobble dogs like that all right weber why don't you try eating this piece of pumpkin pie for me i think we're still trying to figure out what pumpkin pie can do oh okay you just yeeted it that's fine you know what are you okay? Did Randy just bite your tail? It would be really weird having a ghost bite. Randy! Randy! Randy, no! <laughs> You're getting yeeted around by a ghost. I'm sorry about that, Weber. Um, here, we'll go ahead and give you- What? Oh my gosh, Randy! <laughs> Randy! Bad ghost! Bad misbehaving little miscreant ghost! All right, here, Weber, we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually let you puppet before any more chaos happens because I want to hopefully see how your amazing tails would look. Raindrop's also an adult, which means that we do need to get more new ghost dog puppies going in here uh, if we want to make sure to, like, you know, keep the ghost dog lineage going on. Also, it looks like we learned some new things. 
about pumpkin pie. So pumpkin pie will give you the inverted snout and wide stance. And then, oh look, it'll give you thick legs and glossy sheen. Good, so we have learned what pumpkin pie does for us now. Excellent. All right, meanwhile, let's go ahead and make sure that we are puppating all of the other pups. Pancake is apparently in the background hoarding a piece of fruit that is ridiculously adorable. Pancake, why don't you go ahead and eat that? Oh, good job. Good job, Pancake. And now Pancake's tummy is too full, so they don't want to eat anymore. But they, oh, there's a little pets for Pancake. All right, we're going to go ahead and puppet Pancake now so that they can work on getting a little bigger. And then Okta, are you still hungry? Okay, I think Okta is still hungry and oh, Okta is really hungry. And I do want to be able to give them the ability. Did something just get yeeted through there? We'll worry about that later. Maybe it was one of the ghosts. Um, but we do want to give Okta the ability to like have wider, wait, no, it's Pancake! Pancake, no! Oh no! Pancake, hang in there! Oh my gosh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no, Pancake, are you okay? Oh, look, look, oh no! Oh, this is really, oh, this is not opportune. Um, okay, okay, let's try to, we're gonna try to fix this. Cause look at Pancake just zigzagging in there. Okay, hang on there, Pancake! All right, Ooh, okay, there we go. We're gonna temporarily remove the the um, the um portals to the other area. Pancake, are you okay? I'm gonna let you out now, even though normally I like let them wait a little longer, because I think Pancake's probably like shaken, not stirred, to say the least. <laughs> if that is not going to get their poor genetics just absolutely all over the place, I don't know what will. Uh, Pancake, you seem to be doing quite well. No patterning. You're a little lighter. I think you're probably pretty dizzy. Can't really blame you. Didn't really want you to eat your own cocoon, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, meanwhile, let's get Okta some more food. We're gonna go with, oh, that's a dirt clump. I thought that was a coconut. I'm sorry, Okta. Um, but we're gonna get Okta more food real quick. I think we might actually go for the pumpkin pie. If the pumpkin pie gives uh, a wider stance and it also gives thicker legs, now we really kind of need shorter legs, don't we? Is there something that shortens the legs? Short body. Um, all right, give me just a second, Okta. I know you're really hungry. I'm gonna try to double check. I need to have, I need to get another notepad uh, and I need to take notes, friends, because that's what we should be doing as pixel biologist is constantly taking notes on all of our projects. I need to actually start taking notes on the specific diets for the different dogs that we have. I think that would really help us out. Um, that would actually be really fun. All right, so let's see, long snout, big tail, short legs, there we go. Yeah, that's why the coconut is so like good for what we're currently trying to do. And in fact, Pancake seems to have like brought a coconut to Okta, we're gonna say. That's ridiculously adorable. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one to Okta. Okta, come here, come here, Okta, come here. I know, I know you're so hungry, come here. Come here, eat the, eat the coconut, eat the coconut. Pancake's trying to bring you some coconuts to help, to give you smaller legs. All right, come on, you can do it. You've got two heads. One of you, I hope, can can pull off the nomming. There we go, good job. There, look, Pancake brought you another coconut. That is so nice of you, Pancake. Oh my goodness, I think Pancake and Okta get along really well. Now I'm gonna be tickled to like look through and see if any of y'all are like role-playing as Pancake and Coconut in the comments. I am living for all of the the cool comments you guys have been doing. Oh, they're both eating it. They're sharing the coconut. <laughs> that was so cute. But I love, 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 love seeing all of you who have been role-playing as the different Wobble Dogs in the comments. Thank you so much. Seriously, on the days where I'm like having a harder day than not, just because sometimes life can have bumps, whenever I think about that, it just makes me like burst into impossible giggles. Also, what's making me burst into impossible giggles is the fact that Little Potato is just so happy back here and just goofing off just goofing off over here in the corner like little potatoes just scooching in the flowers that is a hundred percent something i would do little potato you are adorable all right so we do want to get more coconuts actually and it seems pancake really loves coconuts because like they keep playing with coconuts so i'm gonna go ahead and get more coconuts also do you guys think it's about time to finally plant another tree <gasps> 
I want to plant another real tree. I really want to do it. I really, really, really want to do it. I shouldn't have deleted that hole. Here, we'll plant a tree over here. I'm going to plant a real tree there. You can't get very many of those seed packets without... Oops, I didn't mean to get a, a banana, but oh well. It'll be there if the puppies want a treat. Um, you can't really get a lot of those seed packets just yet. Or at least I haven't like trained a dog to dig them up. Maybe I could train... Have you guys like trained a ghost dog? Can you train a ghost dog to dig? And then have a way to like farm some seeds? Because I would really, really love that. To have like a little seed digging ghost dog. That just sounds amazing. Uh, all right. So we've taken care of that. Uh oh, <gasps> raindrop. Raindrop Lido. Why are you so hungry? Why so hungry? All right. We've got some poop piles. So it doesn't seem like they can turn the poop into ectoplasm. Uh, oh, Mint's out. Hey, Mint. How you doing? You want to go ahead and eat this? Nope, you want to eat that. Okay, that's fine. Meanwhile, Raindrop, come here. Come here, Raindrop. Are you just having a hard time? Can you eat this pumpkin pie? Raindrop, you're going to starve. Are you too big? Are you having a hard time because you're so big? Oh, you got it! Oh, you had it for a couple minutes, Raindrop. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. There, good job! Okay, let's get you some more pumpkin pie. I think Raindrop likes pumpkin pie. There we go. I know. And Weber's going to be big enough soon to be able to have some puppies too. I'm going to give you all the pets. There you go. Oh, right. oh, yeah. Oh, happy puppy. Oh, we found the itchy spot. We found the favorite spot. There you go, Raindrop. Good puppy. All right, meanwhile, Singwing, you doing good? Yeah, Singwing's doing good. Just got to clean up this little mess down here. All right, we're good. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, wait, Singwing, you're not doing good. Oh, oh, Singwing, that's right. You hate being pet. Okay, here. Oh, ooh, a rubber toy. Come here, Singwing. Here, here, here. Do you want it? Do you want to play with this rubber toy? Grab it. Come on, Singwing. Get it. Get it. Yeah, there we go. Singwing's so angy. No pet, just angy. We'll praise him for playing with the toy, though. All right, there you go, Singwing. I'm sorry that, that life is so difficult, but I understand that not all of us are social and we need to respect everybody's, like, boundaries. Um, Singwing wants to be small! That's so cute! Alright, we'll put down some more chicken nuggets really quickly. Because I feel badly for Singwing just down there, like, muttering and growling to themselves, like, grrr, me angy. Alright, we'll take care of you, Singwing. Alright, we'll put down a bunch of chicken nuggets. There you go, there you go. And then, uh, let's see, I need to, okay, all right, I don't want to delete the room. All right, and we go, and there. All right, hopefully that'll make Singwing, who looks ridiculously cranky right now, uh, a little less cranky. But all right, let's go ahead and hatch some poppers. We're gonna go hatch Octa. Ooh, Octa, you look so good. Octa is now an adult, you guys. This is the moment we have been waiting for. The legs have not really gotten any smaller. I was really hoping the width on the stance has gotten bigger. Did we lose a leg? No, I think Octa's always had just one leg on one side and five legs on the other. So the stance has gotten a little bit wider. Maybe that will help. And actually the back bottom leg and the back top leg. So all of, all of the top, like some legs got smaller actually. The girth, the body size. Oh, body size really went down from a random mutation. Dun, 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 dun. And body girth has apparently gone up. So there you go, Octa. There. Oh, look, Singwing came upstairs. Wow, that was really quick. I guess maybe they were a little lonely. All right. You guys, this is so... Oh, seeing Octa. <gasps> Octa laid a capsule with a little tech floor. Thank you, Octa. I really deeply appreciate that. Also, all right, Pancake. Um, You know what? I'm going to praise you for, for pooping. All right, let me go ahead and clean that up too. Uh, and meanwhile, Singwing, Singwing is still Engie. And no longer near the toys, so, huh. Singwing, how am I gonna help you, my friend? Here, do you wanna come over here? Do you wanna come over here? And do you wanna spin? Like, grab it, grab it. Yeah, come grab it. Come grab it. Get there! See? We need to put maybe, like, more things in the puppy. Yeah, grab. There you go. 
Maybe we need to put more things inside of the puppy. Well, are they? Whoops. Whoops. Okay, I'm sorry, Sing Wing. That was. I, I miss. I overestimated that. Here, let's try a less aggressive toy. Would you like to watch some TV? Little puppy TV? Would that help? Would that would that be good? Are you? Does that make you happy? Normally, I would encourage something a little bit more. Okay, actually, that does seem to be making Sing Wing pretty happy. All right, you go ahead and you watch some TV, Sing Wing, and then maybe you'll have a good time and chill. All right. Phew. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's get everybody else out of their um their little spots right now. Oh, oh, come here, Raindrop. I'm sorry that you got stuck. Oh, I just yeeted you. I'm sorry. And Weber is now an adult. Yes. All right. I'm very happy with all of this. So snout rotation, nose size, some of the coloration has changed. We're gonna yeet the cocoon into the next room. Uh, and there we go, you guys. I'm just gonna tidy this up. Weber seems to have a little bit better balance of their legs now that they've gotten a bit bigger. I need to fill this thing up with some like more garlic bread and some more things for the ghosts to eat so they'll have some ectoplasm. Uh, and then Weber really got a lot bigger. That's pretty cool. But all right, so we finally happen to have quite the collection of puppies and they are adults, which means it is time to start mixing and matching those genetics. So who do you guys wanna see first? I'm thinking, Octa and Pancake, because they really like were totally doing great today. Uh, but Kim Pancake's only a young adult, so we need Octa to kind of get there. So maybe it will be Raindrop and Weber to kind of carry on the ghost dog lineage first. Uh, and I'm thinking we need to hatch Leafeon now that I have so many of these cocoons. You can only, I think, have like a maximum of like three cocoons the dogs can eat or something in that range before it just becomes uh the, the apparently the the dna or excuse me the gut bacteria for the chrysilia apparently it in particular tends to die off in the dog's gut very quickly so if we want to see the random mutations like the multiple legs that are rumored to happen from this gut bacteria we need to have them puppate very quickly after they finish eating it so we're gonna have to think about that all right leafeon we're coming for you but all right guys thank you oh it's broccoli broccoli i'm so happy to see you broccoli but all right guys thank you so much for joining me on this adventure if you guys could do please leave a like for our adorable puppers and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more do please consider subscribing but most importantly stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye